Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, and I'll explain what that's all about in just a moment. But today we're going to be making some large journaling cards, altered paper clips. Oh my goodness, look at all that journaling space that you have, and it's so cute. You can simply pop it onto a page in your junk journal, and it decorates it up just like that. And it even has a little bit of a ruffle that sticks right out of the top for some added decoration. But first, let's have a shout out to Curran, Lala Gamma, Julie, Heidi, and Cherry. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get busy. So you can use different types of cardstock. I have a digital here that I've printed on cardstock, and I have a piece of cardstock out of that paper pad that we have been working with. Now I trimmed these to eight inches by a little over five. So you can make them any size you want though. You don't have to make them this large. If you don't want one this large, you definitely don't have to make one this large. I'm going to fold it in half this way. So now I need to find out, here's my bone folder. I was like, what happened to my bone folder? Here it is, right beside me. Let's go ahead and let's fold this one. Do I want it, see it's gonna be like this, like a book, so, I don't know, I kinda like that way. So I'm going to go ahead and crease it like this. Alrighty, so now we folded it in half. Let's make it into a tag shape. And to do that, I'm going to need my scissors. And I'm actually going to, um, I kind of folded this crooked, guys. Let me see if I can straighten this back up a little better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, I'm going to just take a little bit off of this corner. I'm going to take a little bit off of this corner using my little piece as a template just to kind of get the same amount off of both sides. So now it looks just like this. Now I can, you can round the corner or you can leave it like this. I'm going to set it aside for now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this one. So maybe something like that. Use my corner, pop it back on the other way and put it on this side and then trim out this corner. Now they're close, they're not exact, but this is a junk journal, so that's gonna be perfect. Now I have already inked up the, the card that I'm using here, but since I've just trimmed this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna highlight this. And when I do this, I'm gonna tell you about what is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. It's a Facebook group I have, link is down below. And I post a video every week on this type of craft to make. And just because we're making the same craft doesn't mean our projects are gonna turn out the same because our personalities come out when we craft. And I absolutely love that. I invite you to subscribe to that Facebook group. You will need to accept the rules to join if you've asked to join before and you've never been accepted, it's because you have forgotten to accept the rules. And what are the rules? The rules are to be kind to everyone and there's no selling. That does not mean you can't sell your things. It just means you can't sell your same things on that Facebook group, in that Facebook group. So I show my craft that I'm doing in the Facebook group. You go over to uh, Kathy's garden YouTube channel, you watch how to make it, then you make your version of that same craft and yours is going to turn out different because your personality is different than mine. You post the picture in the hashtag Tag Me Tuesday Facebook group. We can all can see how beautiful your creation has turned out and how different it is from mine. I absolutely love that they all turn out so different. I think that's very special. I invite you all to join. Remember, you're going to need to accept the rules. Now, there is one other question. You don't need to answer it, but the answer is hashtag sewing happiness, just in case you want to pop that in. 
Now I have lots of different things that I have selected for you to get an idea of how you can decorate the front of your tag. There's a bouquet, there's just a digital, there's a heart. You could cut yourself out some hearts. That's a little big, so you can turn it like at an angle. You could use something bigger like this and you can trim it out and use different elements of the tag. You could use a picture like this. That would work. So this just gives you some ideas. I would trim this out. Okay. You could trim this down. So this is just ideas that you can have or I'm trying to give you so that you can get your creative juices going and you can make your version. Now I kind of like this. I'm looking at it to see. I can't get it all trimmed on there. I like these people too. I think that's really sweet. I really like this. Do I like it on this one or do I like it on this one? I actually think I like it on that one. I like the heart too. I thought the heart was really cool. Maybe we should use the heart as well. I'm also looking really around to see, do I have any little uh, label or tag? I have these over there. That would be cute on there too. So I'm just seeing what can I use to put with this to make it a little more maybe interesting, to make it fun. Just, uh, just some ideas and I can't seem to find any of my other things that I've got cut out so we will continue on here. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a couple of paper clips. Now my paper clips are kind of big. I kind of like these big ones. They're two inches, two inches long paper clips. They're big ones. So maybe, maybe we can decorate the front first. I have got my little dish. Here's a little dish. I've got some lace. I've got different kinds of lace. All different kinds. I've got even got lace like this. I've got some thread. I have some buttons. I have some bling. I have these little paper flowers that I've taken apart. I've got a little bit of that coffee dyed tracing paper that um, I think is really pretty. I'm just going to ink this up to see Maybe we want to use this. I'm not sure. I'm just not really sure how we're going to go about doing this. But I do know that I want to put something on the top here. So let's just begin. Do I want that straight or do I want it crooked? I'm kind of liking it kind of crooked. I really think I need to grab a, another something something to go underneath it. All I have are these things. I don't have what I usually have over there. Um, let's see. That's fine. I could use that. That looks good. Do I want maybe some um, book page underneath it or maybe some, I have some music paper here. Maybe we want some music paper underneath it. I don't know. I'm just thinking about do we want to add anything else with this underneath underneath this bouquet? Possibly. Let's give it a tear and just see how it's going to look if we pop that underneath. Just for some added interest maybe. Just a little bit of collaging. I think that's really pretty. Oh, I really like that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to ink the edges. Now, I do like to ink, but inking is a personal preference. So if you don't ink, your projects are just as beautiful. But I like to ink. So I'm going to ink this up. You can also sew around this one. And I would you would need to sew it around now if you're going to do it. Because once you get your paper clip in there, you won't be able to stick it in your machine to sew, but let's add our music paper. I haven't used my glue yet today. It's taken a moment to come on out, but there we go. It's coming now. And let's pop that down about on this side right here like this. And then let's add our bouquet. Now this bouquet is from My Porch Prints, and I'm going to add this to 
just like this. Add a little glue using my art glitter glue. Pop it on maybe something like that. Oh, I probably should have put that underneath. Yeah, I want to get that underneath, so I'm going to pop that underneath while I still can. Maybe something like that. That's kind of cute. Okay. There we go. That's a little bit of a collage going on there. Now let's see. Let's uh, see what kind of lace we want on the top. That's really pretty. That's not very heavy. Uh, that's different. I don't know if I like that. That's different. It probably needs to be moved up a little bit so you can see a little better. There's this one. I don't know what I want. I'm not seeing it yet. This one's okay, but I like it better with this one because I think it's a lot of white. Let's try this vintage piece right here. Maybe we turn it this way. Oh, that's it, guys. I'm going to turn it. See, it's long. I'm going to turn it like this. And I'm going to uh, put my, I'm going to use my hot glue, and I'm going to put it right here at the top. So you can use fabric tack, but hot glue allows me to just keep going. Once I get it down, it just allows me to keep creating and it won't move around because it'll be permanent. Okay, we've got that on there like that. I need to trim it up just a little bit. It's going to need a little bit of help, guys. I'm going to add something else to this. Let's see, what can we add? I think I need to trim right here. Remember I folded it? There. Trim it like that. It needs to kind of stand up a little bit. I think it needs something to help it stand up. <clears throat> Maybe I can add this on the back side, on the inside I should say, and that'll help stand it up a little bit and give it a little bit more structure. Let's just do that. Let's pop this lace that is very, you know, firm, shall we say. And I'm going to pop it on like this so that it helps make this antique. Actually, I think this is vintage too, what we're adding, but it's a little different. Okay, let's see. Trim that like this. I'm going to trim this down like that. Okay, and then trim this. Now what do we think? Well, I need to trim it a little better right here, don't I? Oh, that definitely, now it's standing up straight. Now I need to fix this. Either I trim this off and add a little something on the bottom. I think that's what I'm going to do. Trim that off like that. Then let's add maybe this little piece right down here. Yep, that's perfect. That'll be just perfect. Let's add a little bit more glue and add this little trim right down here at the bottom of this. It's kind of like a big old collage of different kinds of lace. I really like it. I think it's pretty. go. Let's trim this side. There we go. Like that. Okay. Oh, I think that's really pretty. All right. So do I want anything down below? I put some on the other one. I'm not sure if I want anything <clears throat> down here or not. Just uh, looking and trying some different things out. Oh, that's pretty down there. Let's pop that on right down there at the bottom. Even though it's going to cover up some of our fussy cutting, I think it'll be just fine. So I'm going to pop it on just like this. That dip just turned out perfect right there. It allowed those stems to come on down. So that's great. 
lace there in my hand. All right. Now look how that looks. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so now let's move on and let's do this one. So they're really quick and they're easy, so it would be an absolute great mass make. So you could just make a whole bunch of these. I'd like to turn this one to be, goodness gracious, I keep getting that sideways like that. And then I think I'd like that to be on top. I think I might want to use this lace on it. Yeah, I think that would be sweet. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this little ticket right here where I want it to go. So I'm going to turn this sideways so it will all fit. Pop that right on there like that. Now I'm going to pick it all up. And then I'm going to add my glue on all of my heart, my little ticket there. And turn it sideways. And we're going to pop it. I want my free admission. I want it to be straight as possible. There we go. And then press it down. Very, very cute. Now, I did like this one. I like this heaviness of this. So I'm going to add it right down here at the bottom, adding my hot glue right here. Once again, if you don't use hot glue, that's okay. You can use fabric tack or whatever glue that you use to glue your fabrics down. That will be the glue that you need to use for this project. I'm going to add a little more glue right there just because I didn't get it. And I'm going to add some right up here at the top. It goes this way. So adding my glue at the very top here and then popping it down just like that. Wonderful. There we go. And then let's trim that. Good. That's trimmed and that's trimmed. Very nice. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Now I've got that little piece once again, and I think I need to finish this off where it's maybe a little straighter. How about if we add that right there, just so you don't see. Do you see here it's kind of gathery? Because it was on a, a piece of um, lace that had a border and it was all gathered up and I just cut it off. So that's why it's like that. I just think I recycled something somewhere. Some lace. Trim this off. I need to add just a little bit more glue right down there to keep that down. Oh, isn't that looking great? I love that. I love that extra little look that this is giving and just finishing it off. So adding this just like that right on here just to finish it off. Pressing it down so it will glue, it'll be glued down and well, I don't want to accidentally cut this, so I think I better open that up, give it a trim. I'm going to close it now and trim this off. There we go. Oh, I love it. I don't know which one I think is prettier. I love them both. Now, let's talk about um, putting just a little bit more decoration. I have got these papered flowers, and I pulled them apart, and I thought, goodness, they're awfully pretty. And I've got a dark one and a light one. Yeah, I like the lighter one with that one. I have these buttons and I think they're really sweet. I can pop them right. Oh, that's pretty on there. And then there's this one. Okay. Now before I glue my button on, I'm going to take, I'm picking my glue off my fingers. I'm picking up my thread. And I'm going to get a little bit of this thread. Someone's going to say, how long is that thread? Uh, it's about 12 inches. And I didn't measure. I just, you know, laid it down on my grid. And it's, it's about 12 inches. I'm going to put the two ends together. And I'm going to push it up from the bottom. And I'm going to take the other end. And I'm going to pop this into the holes. So when I pull it through... I've got both of them coming up through from the back to the front of the button. I'm going to tie a knot. 
So tying my knot. So I like these little streamers, I guess we could say, the tails, <laughs> the thread. I like them. I like them hanging down. I'm going to trim this one off so they're both loose. And I think I'd like to pop it right in the middle. So first, let's go ahead and pop our paper flower right in the center. And then let's add our button. Whoops, let me get my thread out of the way. Glue to our button. Put it right in the middle of our little paper flower. Now, if you don't have a paper flower, maybe you have um, the, you could do a little bit of tissue paper, something like that. It's just something to, to add a little something to the, to the button itself. I think that is super, super sweet. Let's go ahead and let's finish this one off. So how about if we add this tissue paper first, just to, just to use it and show that you can use this as well. Pop that on there. I'm still going to add my flower, but I think that tissue paper just adds a little something else to this equation. It's just layering things up sometimes is just what you need. Just layering little bits that you have saved and put them into your design. And that's why we save all our little pieces. Oh my goodness, we have so many little pieces. It's like almost like craziness, right? <laughs> I have big drawers just of things. But sometimes I just dig around in my drawer to see what little piece I can find. I'm going to roll that on my finger so I can get it to come to a little bit more of a point so I can pop it through that hole of my button. I'm going to pull it all down, my two ends, and then I'm going to tie a knot just like that. All right. I'm going to cut the other end because I want it to be free. Okay. I'm going to add my glue to my button, the back of my button. And I'm going to pop it right on to the center of that paper flower. Now, I always like to put enough glue that it starts coming through the holes of the button because that will help hold that button on because buttons are usually they're plastic and sometimes the glue that we're working with may not be that you know may not be gluing plastic so if you put your glue that pops through the holes I think you can probably see the glue in that one yeah you can actually see it it's right there, that little bubble looking thing. That's the glue. It dries clear. So it just grabs a hold of that button. Alrighty, so now we're almost done you guys. I am going to get a little strip here. This is just a scrap from an index card. I've coffee dyed and I think this one will be perfect for this. And then I thought well why don't I just use a piece of the same cardstock and I'm going to trim this maybe just a little bit more right like that I'm going to trim it off just a little bit what we're doing is we're making a piece for what we're going to be adding our <coughs> covering I should say our paper clip we need to cover our paper clip because we don't want it to we don't want to see that. We want it to be, let me get my example, finished off. So see it's finished off in here. It's nice and smooth. It's not going to catch on anything and then it holds our paper clip in place. So I am actually going to use my, you could put it this way if you want to, my hot glue gun for this. And I'm going to add some glue right here. Now you could use whatever glue that you like. This is just enables me to show you so it's completely permanent and I can actually clip it onto something for you so you can see what it looks like on a page. So there we are. It's hidden. Now let's do this one. It's not hard at all, you guys. It's very simple and what on earth? Oh, here. I was like, what happened to the paper clip? It's right here. 
All right, so let's pop that on just like that. I'm kind of positioning it in the middle, you know, best I can. And I like to use the longer uh, side of the paper clip on the outside. And this is the smaller side, and I'd like to use that on the inside, the one that we're going to cover up. I'm just kind of looking because I need to trim. I need to trim that. I do not need it to be that long. There we go. Something like that. Adding my glue once again around my paper clip a little bit. Adding the glue to the back of my piece that I'm going to use to cover my paper clip up with. Pressing it down so it gets stuck and it's permanent. Now let's see what these beautiful, beautiful large journaling card ultra paper clips, what they look like on our signature pages. So we have some signature pages here. Let's pop this one on. I'm just going to pop it on just like this. And I love the ruffle that sticks up at the top. I think that looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and pop one on here. I'm just going to put it on like this. There we go. Oh my goodness, it just decorates a page so nicely. It really does. I love this instant decorating of a page. You can clip it off. You can journal in it. You could send these out in Happy Mail if you wanted. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've loved making it with you. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.